Hi everybody, welcome to my channel, my name is Dennis. So today we're going to do a unboxing and a quick look at the Dark Base Pro 901 case. It's a pretty good case, I've had a quick look at myself. I think you'll be impressed. Let's get started. Okay, so we're just going to get started with what it looks like when it's inside the box. It's got a very nice protective cover on it. It's quite thick actually, so it's going to make sure it's all well protected a little bit. Well, not protected, but just free of scratches, that kind of stuff. It's got a little box here on the side, which is pretty impressive. That is a big accessories box. I'm curious to see what that is. So we're going to get it out, we'll set it up, see what else comes in the box. Uh, obviously packed in styrofoam. Um, not my favorite, but that's what a lot of people use because it's cost effective. So let's get it stood up out of the box and continue looking at it. Okay, I thought the other case was big. This is big. It comes, of course, with a Dark Base Pro 901 user manual. And this, which was on top of it, so we'll get this off to reveal this monstrous case. It's big. My goodness. Apparently it has a magnetic top which is moving a little bit. So we're gonna go, we're gonna go through all this. And of course a part box that you can obviously see. Uh, this is gigantic. Uh, starting to sense a pattern here. So before I go too far, I wanted to get into our accessory box, which is pretty cool. So we have our be quiet. So I'm guessing this is for the front panel if you don't want the mesh. Uh, you want to make it more quiet, you can put that on it. We'll show you how that goes on a little bit. So on top of that, what else do we have? It looks like this is some kind of a piece for fans. Normally it slides in. I know I've seen these on smaller cases. I'm just not used to seeing it quite uh, from something so big. I would expect it to be longer. But Again, we'll explore exactly what that's for in a little bit here. This one here is pretty self-explanatory. This is for your power supply shroud. It'll replace one of the parts that's already there. I will show you that as well. And on this side, we have one more thing. And it looks like it's also meant to act as, I don't know if it's a front panel or back panel. It's got to be the front. I can't imagine it's a side. No, it's going to be the front. So, anyhow, we'll fit that on once we know where it goes. And, uh, yeah, pretty cool. Never seen, uh, never seen a case come with quite so much before. So that's all that's in the box. There's nothing else here. At least nothing I can see. Nope. So, let's get on to the case. Okay, so before I can get in and see the part box, we're going to have to take off the uh, tempered glass panel. Okay. It's a big glass panel. On the back, this one's already loose. Wasn't expecting that. And then we have to loosen this one. So once we loosen that, we're going to be able to pull this handle and it'll come off. Always put your hand underneath here just to keep it. You know, notice this is kind of scuffed a little bit, but there is a plastic film. So once that comes off, it'll be fine. So let's pull it out. And man, that is heavy, but this is a extremely heavy case. And that lets us get to our part box and see what else we've got uh, inside. So that was held on by some pretty impressive t twist ties. We have our big box here. So let's just open her up and see what comes inside. So there's a lot. <laughs> and one thing I'm looking forward to, because I'm pretty sure I know what one of them is at least, so, we have here, it's adjustable, it's got a little piece of elastic around it, so you hold everything in place. So this comes off, whoops, I'll get that back, okay, things are a little loose, <laughs> and this is to adjust for your um, graphics card. 
All right, I will figure out how it all goes together here in a little bit. I'm pretty sure it's something kind of like that. Okay, it's, got, it's got little catches here and goes into these holes. So let's we'll see if we can have a look at that a little later here. What else do we have? We have... My goodness. So this is for a hard drive in order to help you mount it. All right, it's got a couple screws, so it's going to go on probably like that. The Be Quiet cases uh, have been like this. This one just has to have, just happens to have, a whole lot more than I've ever had before. All your different screws, everything you're going to need are in this little package. All right. What else do we have? Wow, there is so much. I'm just not... I'm not used to having so many things in one package. So, again, we'll have to figure that out in a moment. We'll get back to that. And this is kind of cool. So it's got a package they give you to put all your screws, everything in. The only one I've ever seen that did that before was Pentax. And they give you this, uh, different Velcro straps. Oh, yeah, that's pretty cool. That will come in very handy. And of course, then we have another base or whatever this is. I'll get the uh, book out. We'll find out exactly what that is. Again, this is full of surprises. Um, never quite uh, experienced one quite like this before. I think what it is actually as I'm looking at it, is it looks like it mounts this way. I think it's for water cooling. All right, you see that here? All right, but we'll double check and verify that. And that's all that's in the box. So let's get on, let's explore those pieces a little bit more, find out exactly what they're for, and continue on. So in order to see where this all goes, we're gonna have to take the other side panel off. So we're gonna do that and then take care of this. This is basically a hard drive cage and another uh, hard drive mount. All right, and this is for your graphics card. Uh, it will adjust with the screw and it's magnetic. So it clamps down, it's, it's on there pretty so solid. And this looks like it's some kind of cable management uh, tube, they call it or refer to it. But I'll verify that in a little bit. So before I go doing all that, we're gonna turn around, get the back side panel off and look where hard drives can go and then we'll come back to this afterward. So getting the side panel off again you have two screws here. Now they are I thought adaptive. Yep. So you just have to loosen it a little bit and pull this off. Now before I do that I want to show you this. So you have airflow here. Alright so that's just something I want to point out before I take this panel off just so you're aware of it. All right, so we're just going to pull here. Always, like I say, put your hand when it's heavy like this, just so it catches and just a little easier to handle. It is solid steel, all right? And, of course, sound insulating panel on the inside and, of course, with your mesh. So this is more focused on, uh, to me, looks as well as airflow and um, basically give you everything you could ever possibly want in a case. I'm pretty impressed with that. So before we go to the side, let's start with where I'm at now. So you can vertically mount your gravity scar here. You have two, four, six, eight PCIe slots. Typically it's seven, but you have eight where your IO shield is going to go. You have a 140 millimeter fan and of course where your power supply is going to go. Now let's move to this side and we can see everything. So the interesting part, I just want to have a look at is you have room here I guess for cable management and places here to to tie everything off with you have room these come off to put SSDs if you want that it's even got another one here so I don't know why you would want this and maybe if you just want to uh, hide it nicely or nicer your cables are hidden again on the side here uh, and there's your hard drive cage right here so this can come out. There's two screws on the bottom. 
I'm just going to get you in there. Can I show you that? I'm going to move it in a little bit. So we have two screws here. This will come out. These two screws on the bottom, and then this hole and two screws here, and then this whole thing will come out if you want to do that. Lots of room for a hard drive, or lots of room for a power supply with your cables. And right now they just got them tucked in here. I'll show you those in a minute. I think it's a nice touch with a white case. They have white um, Velcro ties to nice everything up. And uh, of course, this is all open here. For, uh, actually, that's what this is for. Let me get back to this one piece that at first we didn't know what, or I didn't know what it was. Because I want to show you that now. Along with one other piece. I'll put that there. I know what that's for. And this is kind of cool. I hope you're as excited as I am. Maybe you're not. Probably not. This is for your radiator. So from some of the diagrams I've been looking at, you can mount this in here. Not exactly sure how it mounts. It's got holes for your screws and everything. So when I do the build, you'll have to come back to see exactly how that fits in there. But yeah, it's going to be interesting. I guess it was going to go inside. Does it go inside all the way? Yeah, and you can probably fit it right in. So yeah, put it in there. Just adjust it. Put your radiator on it. And you're good. See, it's all nicely in there. Pretty cool. I like it. We'll go over our cables here in a little bit. Okay. Now, this mounts in a few different directions. Uh, it does go up on top as well. Um, I'll explain that in more detail a little bit later, as always, for all these things. This is such a, a, a full-featured case. I've never seen anything quite like it before. Now, they sent this to me to review. Wasn't expecting this one, to be honest. I was only expecting one case. But they sent it to me, and I am very happy to do a review on it. There's a bunch of cables up here for your fans. All right, so I'm just going to show you that. Okay, so we have PWM fans. And it looks like there's just one tucked away in here. You probably tuck another one on the bottom here. And uh, yeah, there's lots of places to hide your cables, like super immense. All right, I want to get on to the cables. Let's do a quick, while we're here, let's have a quick look at all our cables and see what we actually get. I stopped short a little bit of doing this last time, and I missed something. I'll show you that in a minute. So I'm actually going to take these off so I can show you to make sure I don't miss anything this time. So this is your front panel connector. So this is something I missed on the previous one. The front panel connector, everything is one cable. Now, I don't know how many computer builds you've done. Maybe this is your first. I'm going to tell you, that's going to save you so much. It will only go on one way because there is one pin that's missing. You line that up and do it right, you cannot go wrong. All right? And I'll show you when we actually do a build in it later on. We also have another fan to hook up. We have our HD audio. And what the heck is this? I have never seen this either. We have two USB 3s. Wow. Okay. Uh, we're going to need a different motherboard maybe for this. I don't know if I have one with two connectors on it. So, yeah. I'll have to figure that out. In addition to that, we have an addressable RGB cable. We have this that's going to connect to your SATA on your power supply. Okay, there's your USB-C connector for your motherboard and a second connector for your, for your SATA, for your power. Wow, this is uh, pretty intense to be quite honest with you. I have never, never seen one with two USB-3s on here and now I know why is because usually you have normally just USB and one USB 3.2 so they only give you two but because this case has four yes four USB 3's on the front they had the cable manage it differently alright so that's pretty much everything you're gonna see on here let's move right to the front and have a look 
Now, one thing I do see is this is separated a little bit. So when it was moved or in packaging, maybe it just came off. I'm not sure. I would not have expected to see a, a, ga uh, a gap here. I'll get it right. Sorry. Um, so because it's so heavy, maybe that's just something that did happen. Because uh, you see this is right in there. So that will probably pop right back on. I'm not going to force it now. Oh, yep. Yeah, okay. So that popped right back on. Okay, no gap anymore. All right, so perfect. So that's also how you're going to probably take it off. But we'll get to the top. There's a lot of magnetic catches to take things on and off. And I'm loving it. Okay, we're going to have to get to the front. Let's start there. There's a lot to talk about. Okay, with a case that's this robust, of course, and for packaging and shipping, that's why they have this little green uh, tape. Okay, so you have to take that off. Comes off very easy. It's not sticky when you remove it. It's more of a static uh, guard, if you will. There's one on the bottom as well. And so now you can see everything here. So you have a synchronized button for your fans. And I'll tell you the fan settings here in just a moment. You have your mic, your headphone jack. You have four USB 3.0 slots. All right, your power button. And then you have a USB-C. You have your synchronization for your RGB. All right, that's what this is all about. So, honestly, they haven't forgot anything. This might be the most perfect case, yet heavy case, I've ever had the privilege of having a look at. But, uh, yeah. So I'm going to back this off a little bit. We're going to take off the front panel. So we're going to start with the bottom. There's two little indentations on this side. So you can get your fingers right in there and just give it a little pull. All right, be careful now. I'm being careful not to break it, I hope. <laughs> it's a little intimidating to be quite honest. Okay. Yeah, okay, so that just goes up. Pop it out, comes down, just squeezes in here. So it was in nice and snug. And you have a filter here for more airflow. So you could just leave this open if you wanted to, probably. And uh, now, how do we get the other one off? Let's have a look here. Is there another... I thought this was magnetic. I'm not 100% sure. Let's see. This is pop on. All right, we're going to figure that out in just a second here, and we'll show you. Okay, so everything about this case is a little intimidating. Just cause... So where this was open before, I kind of did the same thing and just kind of pushed on this. It came off, and then you just lift from the bottom. And the whole thing just kind of comes off. All right. On the inside, it's got more sound insulation. You've got multiple ventilation, big, big spaces on both sides. Okay, so airflow should be really good. Like I say, on the bottom, you push this from the outside, these little indentations here, and this opens up, and you can have even more airflow. And it's kind of neat the way it's wired in the inside here. Okay, it's all wired up. So when it makes this connection, you're good to go. And uh, that's pretty much it. Yeah. So I'm just going to leave that off. There is one thing I want to show. Is I want to check, of course. I always want to check. I always want to check everything. So I thought this would go on the front. It's got two little tabs in the bottom. And the thing on the top. So let's see. Does that actually go there? I don't think it does. Hmm. Yeah, no, I don't think it does. We'll have to figure that out. So that is yet to still be discovered. We shall figure that out though. Okay, anyway, we're going to continue on. We've got our filter on the front. Two little catches here, little tabs. And I believe it should be magnetic. No, it just pulls away. Now that I have to push... What am I doing here? Oh, okay, so kind of just push these tabs in. It's on there solid, I'm telling you. Like two on the bottom, two more tabs on the bottom. And uh, it doesn't come off that easy, to be honest with you. But it does come off. Well, it's easy enough. I mean, I'm just a little weary because I don't want to break anything. All right, so you have a fan on there. Take that off. I'll have to put it all back together later on. 
and this magnetic it comes off all right here's your room for getting in doing your fans whatever and you can leave it on if you wish but it's more filtering all right for the bottom of the case so anyway I'm just gonna leave that there for now of course it's got two fans in the front two 140 millimeter fans RGB which is I think they're RGB maybe they're not we will find out because when I light it up we'll we'll see how it all goes now I do want to show you the inside so let's move in so I can show you how those are hooked up so looking on the inside your two fans for these your connectors are right on the top of your case right I have never seen that before interesting design and uh, of course your fan from the back will have to go into your motherboard by the look of it there's no fan hub on here that I can see and these are be quiet silent wing four white fans all right they're not RGB that I can see nope they're not, I don't think they are so but you could switch them out if you want the RGB so you know what since we're here let's have a look on the inside so again we have some green tape so when everything is packed and moving this does come off this looks like there's an RGB in here so I'm I'm gonna have to look that up as well just to make sure because when a case this size and this nice you don't want to ruin anything but I was talking about this before you can see where this is in this pops out and that one just goes right in its spot and that's it now it's in there it gives you more airflow again so before I show you the power shroud this actually comes off all right that's kind of neat but it has four screws top and bottom and then you can take this whole thing off put your radiator on put it back on they just they wanted to make it easier for you okay so I'm jumping around a little bit before we get to this this like I say is for the graphics card, graphics card to support it it has a screw on this side there's another one here it goes on this side so it will adjust depending on how high you need it or it goes down it has a catch here if you push it a little bit it'll go all the way to the bottom all right so you adjust this as you need it for whatever height and then you put your screw in and you tighten it down all right magnetic like I say so it'll go like this okay adjust it fasten it down obviously underneath your graphics card and it's just going to lock in place and you're good to go so anyway I just wanted to get back to that to make sure I pointed out how that is exactly used so the other piece that I kind of fell on the floor is this piece right here it's got a hole for your screw so you have to make sure that's in there first okay that helps you to adjust the height okay and then of course when you have it where you want it you tighten it down lock it in place all right so you can adjust that as you see fit wherever you think you need it um, it's a nice feature I'm not sure what I think about it I think it's kind of cool um, anyway now I've shown you everything including that little piece uh, as that fell off onto the floor and I wanted to make sure you saw it okay so this was really tough to get out so basically you push down on this opens up and then you just take it out there's two little tabs here they go in here be careful when you take it out because it's connected for the RGB over here all right so if you're going to take that out and work on it just disconnect the tab here okay it comes out and just remember that you did that set this aside do whatever you got to do and you're good to go inside you can see you have two hard drive bays all right so you can use that these little plastic clips will come out you just push on them and they'll come out now they don't come out easy well actually they do kind of come out easy but but you have to be careful they have the little lips on them all right and so when you put them back in put those lips in first line them up and you pop them back in place I don't know why they always seem tricky to me but it goes in easy enough so power supply shroud comes off it does have lighting all across here all right where that goes down of course make sure you plug it in okay if it's not working 
check that it actually is plugged in. So, something else I want to point out that uh, I've now figured out, like I say, this case is full of surprises. This down here, okay, so this is where we're going to get into maybe this, is room for a optical drive. So you're going to have to probably take out your hard drive cage on the inside to get to it. There's two screws, one here, one on this side. In fact, is that the same measurements? Let's just see. It is actually. So if you wanted to mount another hard drive this way, instead of the way it's in there, you could do that. All right, there, we discovered where it goes. And uh, yeah, so we'll figure that out as we go along. There is something else really surprising that I didn't see at first that I'm going to show you now. So a lot of cases have a fan hub. So uh, there wasn't one on this. Somebody was talking about it. And I said, well, where is it? And then I realized up here. So you have one plugged in right here already. And you have three more fans that you can plug into here. All right? Just something to be aware of. Um, it's kind of surprising, to be honest with you. I was not expecting to see that. And uh, everything is plugged into the... The case itself, which when you plug in your SATA for the power, everything else is going to be powered up and it's going to work. So just be aware, all those connectors are there for you to use. All right, so that's pretty neat. I like it. Um, there's just so many things about this case that I just keep discovering. Okay, we are going to discover a few more that you are not expecting to see. So we're going to move back to the other side and show you something that I did know first and now I know. This. Okay, so this right here, that's where this goes. So, pop that down, comes out, it'll lift up. Like I say, it's got the two little tabs in the bottom, which goes in here. So you line those up. Once you've got them in there, it just pops in place. All right. So, we're going to leave that out for now, because now we know where it goes at least. So, we're two for two. We know where the power supply shroud goes. We know it comes off. We know where that goes. So, something else I want to show you. <laughs> I just realized why it has so many power connectors. We're going to go back to the top of the case. Because there's some stuff there you need to know about. So, on the top of the case, I already showed you all this. This here, though, is a charging pad for your phone. Set your phone on here, and it'll start charging. Of course, it has to be plugged in, of course. And you have the top part. You push on it. It's magnetic. And this does pop in a little bit, too. And everything is going to come off. You have to be gentle. And then you have your filter for your fan in here as well. But I'm not done yet. These come out. You have to pop them out. More sound dampening. All right. And then this one, of course, comes out as well. So you want some more airflow or you want it more quiet? Whatever your choice is, it's there. And then if you want to put that in just without that, you can just pop this back in place. And you're good to go again. How cool is that? <laughs> I love it. I'm, I'm quite blown away, to be honest. Uh, I've been sent to quite a few cases, but this one is uh, top of the line. They did one a while back, a long while ago. And the improvements are immense. They're just, they just just keep coming. So let's keep on going. Now, before we do the uh, inside of the case, one thing I just want to re-emphasize is that synchronization of your addressable RGB will work without the motherboard, okay? So you don't have to have the motherboard software to use to synchronize your colors, okay? You've got all the different colors, white, red, green, blue, orange, purple, cyan, and of course, all the colors. Um, you can have different breathing patterns, um, comet, trail, or you can have them all turned off. Okay, it depends on what you want. So that's pretty cool. And uh, will definitely make things a lot easier. 
when I showed you this fan thing on the top, I don't know why I keep calling it a fan thing, the fan controller, all right, I should call things by the proper name. Um, the fan controller goes all the way down from 400 RPM, goes to 800, goes to 1200, goes to 1500, and all the way up to 1900 RPM. All right, so just something to be, be aware of and know that it's there. Just to re-emphasize, I wanted to point out, this was designed not for a hard drive, but for an optical drive. All right? Some people don't use DVDs. They may not need it anymore. Well, or Blu-ray drive or anything like that. But for those that do, you have the option at least. Not every case is going to give you that option. In fact, very few these days give you that option. So you want to put a Blu-ray drive in there, watch your movies from there, now you can. All right. Like I say, you'll probably have to take out the hard drive cage in the side because maybe you're not using mechanical drive anyway. You're using M.2 drives and then it's going to slide in, fasten on, and you're good to go. So when it comes to giving you lots of options, you can definitely see that they are all there for you. Now, of course, this is not big enough to fit a normal DVD drive or Blu-ray drive or anything like that in there. So that's why they gave you this one. All right, you just simply remove that, put that one in its place, and then you're good to go. All right, that's why, like I say, I wanted to make sure where that went so you know where it goes. If you want a Blu-ray drive in your computer, you put it in there, hook it up, you're good to go. So on the inside of the case, I'll get to the motherboard sizes after. If you want to mount your graphics card vertically, okay, you will need a riser cable that you can get from Be Quiet. If the riser the riser cable is a BGA12. All right, so you can purchase that. You do have to purchase it separately. So just be aware that that is an option that you can do if you want it, and uh, everything will go great. Everything in this case is modular. Everything comes apart. You can take it apart. You can invert it so that your glass panels on the other side you can do stuff like that the installation of the graphics card there as far as I know right now there's not a graphics card that's built that won't fit in there this thing will accommodate everything alright uh, if you find one that won't accommodate let me know alright so you can install all kinds of different graphics cards or sorry motherboards you can install an ATX up to an E-ATX or extended ATX uh, you can do a micro ATX and I believe even a uh, the smallest which is uh, I haven't used I don't think I've actually even built in which I think is an uh, ITX um, if you built in a case like that let me know maybe I'll like to have a picture and showcase it to somebody or maybe I'll even do a build who knows if you want to see a mini ITX build let me know well, give me some of your specs of what you'd like like to see in it um, in terms of case and all that kind of stuff and I'll see what I can do all right you got of course hard drive cages and SSDs that you can mount uh, showing you that already now it does give you the uh, ability to install an extra fan here but like I say you will have to take out this hard drive cage um, if, especially if you're not going to use it, I would take it out maybe anyway, and mount another up to 140 millimeter fan on the bottom. All right, just another option that you can do um, for those that want to. I mean, everybody's different. So there is yet another thing I want to show you on the front panel. You have a solid panel, but if you look on the inside, you'll notice you have little places here. Push those in. I've done these two already. Push the other ones in. Okay, you just have to squeeze them just a little bit. And then what's going to happen, let me show you this without knocking it on the floor. This is going to come out. Make sure I get that in. So make sure you're squeezing these to get them in proper, to get them out. Okay, you don't want to pull them out. All right. So now that's coming out. And you can replace that now, which is pretty freaking cool. For more airflow, 
they gave you this. So you put it over the front, all right, pop it in place, and uh, like I say, it's just going to pop in place. And now your front panel is mesh. Okay, you don't have the sound, da sound dampening, but you have a lot more airflow. All right, now that, like I say, the surprises keep coming. Keep watching, there's more to come. Okay, back into the inside. Of course, you have this for hiding your cables. Okay, I do believe you can remove it. Yep. So that's part of your, uh, on the back, right here. So you can remove it, it's got a couple screws. If you want to take it out, you can. Actually, you don't even have to take this out, I believe. There is one screw on the inside here. Oh, no, maybe you do have to take it out. So anyway, two screws, possibly three. That'll come out and uh, if you want to do that. Or it just helps you with your cable management, hides everything. Everything right now is just kind of nicely tucked away in here. So you don't have to worry about it too much. So... I really like it. I really, really do. Um, all right. What haven't I shown you? Of course, I showed you SSDs. Go on here. Very simple. Screw them onto the four spots. Route your cables and you're good to go. Showed you that this can go in here unless you want to take out these little uh, plastic pieces that I showed you in the inside and put your hard drive cages through there. Um, so that's always another option. One more thing, what is okay, it's like I say, we have room for our fans in the front and on the inside, I don't think I missed anything. Can I show you the different sizes I can do? All right, there's time to come on with some specs, tell you a little bit more about the back. So let's do the back first. Like I say, you got eight PCI slots, 140 IO shield power supply, and of course. This does uh, come off. I probably wouldn't take it off, but it does come off. It can be taken off the top, all right? But since you can get access to everything without doing that, um, I don't think you're gonna need to, unless you're gonna invert it, in which case then go ahead and do that. Of course, as you'd expect, there's a bottom filter. You have to pull it pretty hard, it comes out, and there you go. Put it back in the same way. Make sure that this lip is down, all right? Otherwise, you won't get your front panel connect, uh, cover back on. Oh, man. Make sure you line it. There's actually a little gap, all right? So it doesn't go on the bottom. It just goes in through that gap. Pushes in there, and it goes in pretty tight, so you'll know if it's in there or not. There's really no question on it. This is magnetic, just to go over, cover that over. There's a little lip that it sets on here. All right, just so you can't really mess lining it up properly for those that have OD or OCD kind of like me uh, the bottom of the case you have really big feet so you have sets on there pretty well let's go to the bottom of the case and have a better look okay so nothing too fancy going on the bottom little rubberized feet they're big solid metal of course you have your filter here and it's mesh on the bottom for airflow. That's really all there is to the bottom. So some of the things I want to get back to just to make sure you're aware of them all. So we're going to go through some of the specifications. So like I said, it goes from mini ATX, to micro ATX, ATX, extended ATX, and extra large ATX. I have never seen that. Uh, this is a full tower. That's why it's so big. And that's why it's so heavy. It will take a PS2 ATX power supply, the dimensions, length, width and height in millimeters are 603 by 254 by 569. Of course, it's made out of steel, ABS plastic, and aluminum. Okay, the weight, all right, is uh, for the, like there's a black case. So the, this one here is actually the white case, which weighs 18 net or 21.3 gross kilograms, okay? The black one is slightly light, uh, lighter, not much lighter but it's 17.8 net and 20.9 gross kilograms. Okay, your I.O. panel, so the front of the case, uh, the USB 3.2 Gen 2 Type-C, you have four USB 3.2s, mic and headphones, you have your fan controller, adjustable RGB, and your I.O. button. 
okay PCIe slots eight now hard drives you can fit up to 16 2.5 inch hard drives right they give you room or they give you enough to put in six with the included case you can get seven of the three and a half inch which the they've included two and you can put one five and a quarter inch which is where your optical drive of course was uh, of course one's included they include two silent wing fours PWM from 1 140s capable of 1900 rpm the rear fan is the same thing uh, your maximum fans okay so on the front you can do three 140s or 120s on the top same thing bottom you can do 140 120 uh, that's an extra fan that you can put on on the side you can do three more 120s and on the rear like I say you can do 140 120 now optical optional radiators you can go from 120 140 240 280 360 up to 420 on the front on the top 120 240 360 on the side you can put a 120 240 or 360 and on the rear again 120 140 all right maximum dimensions so this is something that most people are going to want to know cpu cooler up to 190 millimeters power supply up to 288 gpu 495 atx motherboard 350 with a hard drive cage and extended atx motherboard motherboard 370 with a hard drive cage all right your adjustable rgb connectors a three pen five volt and of course like i say the parts that came with it is a part for your optical drive your screw box which is going to hold all your different screws and standoffs and all that kind of good stuff your airflow cover for your power supply shroud now that part that i was not sure what it was is a vga holder for an inverted layout so I'm just going to show you that one more time. This piece. All right. So that's what that is. A VGA holder for an inverted layout. All right. So you will probably not use it unless you're inverting it. All right. Of course, you have your graphics card holder, your mesh front panel, if you choose to use it. Uh, but it's included, so don't worry about it. And your uh, the other one, which I almost missed. This one right here. The little cable thing there. That is an eatx cable management cover so if you're using one of the really big motherboards it's got you covered your fan slash radiator bracket for mount for your multi mantle oh my goodness i <laughs> say this again so this piece right that piece right there that is your fan slash radiator for multi mounting panel that's what it's referred to okay so of course I showed you some of the places you can mount it and uh, that really basically tells you all the contents all your specifications uh, velcro ties different screws that it comes with a nut for the VGA holder a standoff for the motherboards and even a wrench to tighten the standoffs should it require it and sleeve screws for fans on the front bracket all right that pretty much covers every spec I can think of but there's one more thing I want to do let's see if we can light this sucker up and show you all the different colors and what it actually looks like and especially find out if those fans are RGB or not I don't think they are but you know what that's okay because um, I think I'm gonna use the pure loop 2fx which is right there is right here in this case because I wanted to use it in something that deserved it and well you don't get anything more deserving than this case right here once I've got that in there it'll be in the build video so no won't be in this one but we're gonna put everything together here light it up and show you what it all looks like so we'll do that in just a moment all right so we got it lit up you can see the uh, address the RGB here Okay, all on the side and on the front and of course you can see it all lit up here and as I change this I can change the colors okay there we go so the button is very easy to almost not push it just seems just hold it there for a second 
okay and it just rotates depending on what you're doing okay you like pink blue now this is the colors this is synchronization all right push it a second time all right so you can see even this lights up see that can you see that right here and you can see that lighting up there now so we're gonna change it again that looks to be like a little faster uh, let's just see and of course let's see what happens and then of course it will turn off so we hold it for a second again and you start it back up so depends on how many times you push it and your mode so you can change colors change your mode and of course you'll be able to change your fans once everything is hooked up which of course right now they're not so <laughs> spectacular case i gotta say this just blows me away with how nice it is and now i want to check something that uh, i'm not sure if it'll work because this phone might be actually dead but let's see i'm gonna put my phone on the charger because i do have power going to it and just see if i can pick it up because right now and yes it is it is charging that phone i know you can't see it let me just see if i can do that for you so you can see that all right it's charging so charge your phone charge your your lighting scheme whatever you want don't have to have software if you don't want it everything is good to go <sighs> So many features, I can't even, I hope I cover them all. Um, but if I haven't, let me know. Maybe I'll do a follow-up. All right, everybody, that's as much as I can bring you on this case. Every kind of feature you could ever possibly want is on this case. This is like the big daddy of them all. All right, this is like... Big Supreme, Premium, whatever you want to go that's high up on that scale, this is what it is. I like it's in white. I asked for it to be white. Uh, I don't know. I think for years that people have used black cases and they look nice. But because of the way they do the white cases now with that paint color, the way the metallic is, it just looks so nice. Anyhow. I like every feature about this. I like the RGB. I like the way it's controlled. Um, the charging for your phone. Uh, ample room for a power supply and your cabling. Uh, as many hard drives as you could possibly want. Probably use this as a server if you wanted to. It's certainly capable. Um, yeah, there's not much you uh, don't have or can't change. You want sound? Put the sound dampening panels in. You got it. You want airflow? You got that too. You want water cooling? It's got room. All right? It's got everything you could possibly want. So, that's just my opinion. I'm blown away by this case. I hope you like it as much as I did. Uh, if you're new here, think about subscribing. If you like the video, give it a thumbs up. If you don't, leave me a comment. Tell me what you didn't like, maybe what I missed, and you'd like to see again. And I'll get back to you, and I'll see if I can do that. All right? Uh, Hit that bell for notifications so you see videos as they're coming up in the future. I'm trying to get more progressive on uh, back to what I was doing before. So we'll see. We'll see how it goes. I think it's going pretty well so far. But if you like it, give it a thumbs up like I say. And thank you for watching this far. If you've got this far, as always, I appreciate you. I appreciate you being interested in what I'm trying to show. And I hope it helped you. That front panel connector thing for that one cable, instead of messing with all those different ones, trying to find out where they all go, will save you a ton of time when you're a new builder. I would say a new builder in this case, it's a little bit for you, but you'll be able to figure it out. All right? Diagrams, the manual, you couldn't go wrong. It's got everything you want. Graphics card's not an option. You can go as big as you want. Um, 190 millimeter for the uh, 
CPU cooler, I don't even know if they make them bigger than that, to be quite honest. But I would probably go with an AIO water cooler in this particular one anyway, which I will. Uh, so now it's just a matter of deciding what's going to go in it. Because this is impressive. Like I say, they sent it to me, but this is my review, and I like it. It's freaking awesome. All right? Anyway, I'm blathering on. Thank you for watching. See you next time. Take care.